This episode is brought to you by CBD TV, your one-stop shop for all your CBD needs. Use code FRESHOUT to get 15% off your next order. My heart bowed. Oh my God. They stopped at the stop sign. They kept going. They <laughs> had to do a fucking U turn. So they just stopped at the stop sign. They kept going. Were they, they were, going to the apartment? They, they were going to the apartment. I was right oh, there. They just went right shit. by me. Right by me. So they go right by me. They got my dad over there. I got the 50 keys in the trunk. I call the guy in Columbia. I say, hey, I got your dope. This is what happened. Now he doesn't know if I'm setting him up. I got 50 keys. I got the feds on me. And he doesn't know. He's like, I said, I need to get rid of these 50 keys right now. He goes, uh, I can tell he's hesitant. I said, you got two minutes. I'm calling you back. Or either they're going in the, they'll be in the dumpster at Publix. Or that's, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to keep them. So you got two minutes. Make up, make up your mind. So he calls me, he calls me back. He goes, okay, <clears throat> meet my cousin. Another guy, we called him the skunk. He goes, meet him at Miami Subs. It was really close to where I was and give it to him. So I see the kid. Hey, I remember him. Here you go, 50 keys. Bang, off, boom. I got the dopes out of my hand. Now I don't have another charge of 50 keys. They're out of my fucking hands. Then my mom, uh, the cocksuck and cops call. And I tell them the story about my mom uh, across the street. And boy, were they, you could just hear them. We waited here for an hour for you. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, the traffic. And I should have let you know a long time ago. But I should, how stupid of me. My mom was right across the lake the whole time. She could have just came over there and secured the house. I'm sorry if I wasted your guys' time. I really do apologize. But I'm, in, I'm stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. So my mom will be there in two minutes. Mm. And my mom shows up. Hey, guys, what are you doing? And, you could, and uh, yeah, they took my dad off. And so now I knew it's the feds. And they, they didn't even know that I know because that was a sealed indictment. But the prosecutor couldn't keep his fucking mouth shut. He was so happy, again, that they caught one of us, so happy that, I mean, now that's legal. I mean, that is just, he would have he got fired for that. He actually let me go by telling my attorney that that indictment was for me. Mm. I wasn't even in cuffs yet. So now I need to, now I got to get the fuck out of the country. So I call my buddy Carlos in Colombia, and I said, hey, he got his 50 keys back. He knew I did the right thing. <clears throat> he goes, go over to, uh, uh, I went over to, uh, uh, on A Street, Miami. It's uh, where, all the, where all the hookers hang out, like just sex motels and all that shit. Just, and that's the type of place where no one's gonna, if they see your face, they're not gonna call the cops because there's all kinds of dirty shit going on in those mm, sex motels mm -hmm. anyway. They don't want the cops there, right? So you pay cash. It's, it's got a fucking love-shaped jacuzzi with mirrors on the wall, whatever the hell it is, right? It's in, in Hialeah. So that's where I'm hiding. Throw, you know, hide out in a, in a sex motel uh, and just watching <laughs> in the jacuzzi, watching the news. And there it is. Do, 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 do. FBI raids uh, Hemingway's. Italians, fuck, all kinds of shit going on. I'm like, oh my God. So, <clears throat> Carlos goes, we need to get you out of the country. I say, I need to get out of the country. We're gonna, I need a passport. He says, all right, so get a passport. Get it to Fat Man. I got myself a picture, passport picture. Just had to walk across the street. Uh, just tried to stay out of everyone's vision. Just cross street. Went to like a Walgreens. I don't even know what Walgreens. Eckerd's, I think it was Eckerd's. was the drugstore back there. Took a picture. Gave it to Fat Man. Fat Man uh, gave it to someone else. I had a U.S. passport in two days. Mm. I mean, legitimate, not fake. This was a real U.S. passport out of customs. That's how good they are. Wow. This guy, his name was Antonio Zambrana. The birth date was 
within a month of mine. He was a military dude with fucking like a high ranking. This guy was perfect. A cop pulled you over with this this passport. Fucking you ain't getting shit. This guy was really that good. All right. So <clears throat> he said, listen, this passport's so good. You could come in and out of the country if you want to. I said, fuck, I ain't coming back to this bitch. Ain't no way. I ain't taking that <clears throat> risk. I got, <clears throat> I got two state trafficking charges pending. And a federal case, plus that prior I had when I was a kid. Mm. All right, I didn't tell you about the two state charges. Um, so he goes, uh, I get the passport, and I, uh, I go to Disney World. So I'm going to hide in Disney World, because there's so many fucking people in Disney World. How are you going to find you in Disney World? So I call one kid that was... Uh, it was it was it was a good kid. He did some work for me, and uh, I, I trusted him. And he knew the shit hit the fan. I said, "Hey, I'm I'm in trouble. I need some help. I don't want to be driving. I need a ride." So he goes, "I'll take you." And uh, that same damn girl I was on the phone with that night that burned out my battery, right? Mm -hmm. So she went my girlfriend. She was this chick, and I'm just I'm leaving the country anyway. So we ride up to drive up to Disney World. We, Go into a five-star hotel, nice family place, nice and quiet, okay? Get there late. <clears throat> and I'm kind of like, all right, I'm, I'm in Disney. I'm in a hotel. I'm fucking far away. Got no cell phone on me. Uh, it's almost impossible to get recognized. I mean, you'd be a fucking moron to get caught over here, right? I just need to make it to Mexico. That's so all I was going to do is go to Mexico. So I take a shower. And I'm just sitting there, shut the lights out, relax in the shower. And I hear these girls screaming. And it's my buddy, George, fucking playing with the girl in the bed, tickling her, right? He's tickling the shit out of her. And she's screaming, ah, fucking really screaming. I said, shut the fuck up. This is a family place, man. People are trying to sleep. There's kids here, right? Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I said, just shut up, man. Stop this. Then I get out of the shower and I hear boom, 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 police. I'm like, oh God, they found me. I said, I said how the fuck they find me? I couldn't believe it. Open the door, I haven't stolen my towel. He goes, uh, we got a report of some girls screaming for help. The first time I ever ratted on anybody. It was a funny way, you know. I said it was him, his ass, <laughs> tickling the girl. I told him, I warned him that if he didn't stop, that the cops are going to fucking come. And you know what? Take his ass to jail because, you know, this is some bullshit. I told him it was going to happen. And, and the cop goes to the girls, is that true? You guys just playing? And they go, yeah, yeah. We were just playing. We are having fun. And you know, we know it's a family joint and all that. Then he goes, okay, driver's license, ID. Now I'm thinking, oh. I got the fake passport, though. I said, I don't have my driver's license, but I got my passport. Now, I give him my passport. Everyone else gives their ID. He stays at the door. Now, my fucking heart is like, I'm I, boom, 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 boom. I'm fucking shitting in my pants here, okay? Cop takes the, you know, the other guy goes down and checks it. So we just start shooting the shit and, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm just talking as casual as I can be. Just pretend like nothing's going on. And uh, he goes, something. And he walked back up and he said, all right, now, you guys, keep it fucking quiet. He hands me my fucking passport and shuts the door. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't believe I got away. That was the first, that was the second, that was the third time in a week I got through, fourth, because we skipped one, I didn't tell you the other one. Four times I got by the cops for the same thing. Mm. Now I got, now it's still in the U.S., then I finally go, I leave and I go to Mexico. Nothing fun to say about Mexico. I was there six months. Then I go to Mexico, Hong Kong. Hong Kong, nothing really good to say about Hong Kong either. Six months of there. Taiwan. I go back to Taiwan because I had went when I was on probation the first time. Remember when I was a kid mm -hmm. for the Kung Fu? Martial arts. While I was there. There was a bunch of other kids there. Not kids, but guys. And from all over the world. I said, 
What are you guys doing here? They, oh, we live here. They were living there. So, well, how are you making money? They go, we teach English. I go, really? How much are you get paid? Oh, you get $30, $40 an hour? I go, U.S.? They go, yep, all we have to do is sit at a table and just conversation. They just want to talk to someone. They don't want you to teach them English. They want to practice English. I said, they're giving you $40 an hour? They go, man, you put an ad in the China Post and your phone won't stop ringing and you just, you're sitting there talking to girls and they'll, they'll just, they just want to talk. And I remembered that when I was 19. I said, wow, that sounds like psh, he's making a lot of money. He goes, he gets a scooter, drives around, kung fu classes, getting paid $40, $50 an hour and you're in another country. So <clears throat> I thought to myself, hmm, Hong Kong was boring. Let me try Taiwan. I know at least if I go to Taiwan, I can make some money mm -hmm. as a teacher, English teacher. Can't speak English very well, but they don't know that. They, I just got to shoot the shit with them, right? And my girlfriend that was on the run with me, she, she could model. She was modeling. So anyway, I get to Taiwan, <clears throat> and then we're, we're going to end it with Taiwan because this is the real kicker. So I get to Taiwan. My girlfriend's a model. She ends up doing a lot of modeling gigs. And one day we're at a party for her modeling. I mean, all the modeling, mo the models get together and the agencies and all this other bullshit, they get together. And I see these three Chinese queers looking at me, right? And But they look really, you know, they don't, they're harmless. The Chinese ones, they're really harmless. They, mm -hmm. They're gay, but they're, they, I mean, they look like, a, they wear Elton John glasses with a scarf around their neck oh, 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 oh. with three different color suits Flamboyant. on. Flamboyant. Flamboyant. Yeah. And they're, but they're harmless. So they're looking and they're pointing and they're giggling and it, it really doesn't bother me, right? Because they're just acting that way. And they, but they keep pointing and, and then her manager, my girlfriend's manager at the time, comes up to me and goes, uh, Hey, those guys want to use you on a, on a, on a, on a, on a beer. Uh, they want to use your face for a job. I go, what do you mean? They want your face on a beer bottle. I go, just my face. I go, yeah. And I was like, do I have to smile? <laughs> he goes, nope. They don't oh, want you to smile. Just the shit. opposite. You don't have to smile. They want you to. Ugh. I said, okay. And this. Beer, where is it being sold? And they go, Taiwan. I said, anywhere else? They go, no, just Taiwan. It's Taiwan beer. <clears throat> and I go, how much? And they go, 5,000 bucks for your face. I said, oh, okay, 5,000. Just Taiwan, nowhere else? I'm trying to yeah. see I'm fishing, right? Just no, no other countries, not just only in Taiwan. Just in Taiwan, nowhere else. I said, okay, I'll do it, 5,000. So, <clears throat> there you go, okay, I'll do it. So we go, make the deal, and I get to this warehouse where the photo shoot is. And got all these gay guys there. And I, I walked into a goddamn booby trap. And this is, they got me good. So they said, okay, take some headshots, some quick shots, and then they made it like a Polaroid thing. And they got a, a beer bottle and they wrapped it around and they put some tape around it and they made a makeshift beer bottle. It looked just like the beer bottle with my face. They did it right on the spot. Mm. And they said, okay, so you need to take this bottle and we want you to pose. I said, pose? I'm fucking posing for nobody. They says, yeah, well, you got to pose. I says, well, the only thing I can do is some kung fu poses. Poses. And uh, they said, just just do whatever. I said, oh, I'll do whatever. And uh, he goes, but you got to take your clothes off. I said, what do you mean take my clothes off? You said we want a headshot. And now I'm thinking to myself, hold up. Why do you take my clothes off? <laughs> oh, Is shit. this for real, I'm thinking? They said, well, how are you going to put this? They said, because we're putting this in the newspaper. Now I'm really confused. How are you going to put this in the newspaper if I'm buck-ass naked? He said, well, you're going to stand in a way where you're covering your parts. Now, I don't know if I'm getting bullshitted or if this guy's for real. And I was about to, I would have walked out, but the Chinese 
if I was a walkout, I would, my girlfriend would have lost her contract. Because they got this thing that they call losing face, right? They can't lose face. It would have been such an embarrassment mm. because we, I set the deal. I said, but no one mentioned anything they didn't about throw that naked in there. shit yeah. to me, right? You're going to be naked in a warehouse posing in for a full-page uh, newspaper article. Get the fuck out of here with that one. You out of your mind? Five grand? Try 50 grand, maybe. Yeah. Right? So, <clears throat> I said, fuck it. I'm not a fuck. I walk around naked. Don't bother me at all. I said, here, they go, here's some oil. And I was in good shape, right? So, go to the bathroom, take my clothes off, oil up, walk out. Goddamn Chinese people said, Hong Kong, no, no, Italian, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, God, are you serious with this bullshit? You so big one. I was like, oh, God. This is just fuck. You didn't ask for a, a, a bump, man? That's, you know, a nudity oh, gets nothing. a bump. I would just fucking just, no, just let's get this shit over with, right? So now they're saying pose. I'm buck ass naked in the warehouse with a bunch of Chinese gay people watching me. And I'm thinking, no one in the world would ever believe this fucking story. Not in a million years. Some, not a, one of my friends would believe what the hell's happening, and they wouldn't even believe the story if I told them anyway. So I do the fucking thing. So I think, all right, kung fu, I'll pose. I take that beer bottle, and I start, I start kung fu in it. Da, pop, 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 and they're loving it. Snap, 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 and they get one where I'm, I'm crossed or something, and they get the shot. Okay, done, get dressed, get the fuck out of there. Two weeks later, I got a Chinese friend calls me. His name is Jackie. He goes, Tony, Tony, Tony. I go, he goes, you go to 7-Eleven. I go, why? He goes, you're in the newspaper. I said, all right. I go, he goes, full page. <laughs> I said, full page. Uh, he goes, no, actually two pages. <laughs> I said, you got to be kidding. He goes, no, I fucking open this goddamn thing up. The whole body shot, buck naked. You know, didn't show the front, but showed naked mm -hmm. with the beer bottle doing this all in Chinese. And I'm thinking, it was a good shot. It was a good picture. It was classy. It was done with it was done with class, yeah. you know, because they have to sell beer. And it was some grape. It was a grape beer, grape, and it was grape and blueberry. It tastes like Kool Aid. It really did. Like I had no. <laughs> so, this is where it gets really good. So now I'm thinking. Now this beer company, they I'm their face. I am their. I'm their logo. I'm the man. I can live in Taiwan. And make a fortune <laughs> on the run. On the run, I can make oh, a fortune. Shit. These guys can get me a work visa. They can do all kinds of stuff. So, my passport, I had overstayed my visa. That was the one thing because you can go in Taiwan and out. You get two months on an American passport. Two months, but you got to go. Mm. Then you can come back. They'll give you another two months, and no more than six months. You can go in and out, so you got to leave the country. Go out, and I was so worried that I would. There was no way for me to get a legitimate visa because you have to go to the embassy, you have to do all this, mm. and I wasn't taking that chance. I'd rather just overstay my visa, like everyone does here. Mm -hmm. Walk in, and that's it. What are they gonna do? We don't arrest people and they overstay their visa, mm -hmm. right? It was the same thing in Taiwan. So I was like, eh, I just walk around the streets. The cops didn't even bother you over there. So, but if I wanted to do something big with this uh, this beer bottle company, I had to I had to have my visas and stuff right. I had to have my, at least my passport legit. Mm -hmm. My stamp was expired. So I called another kung. I had two kung fu teachers. I had another one over there, and he was in charge of the police academy. He was the head instructor of the Taiwanese police academy. So he taught them kung fu. Mm. Joint locks and wrist locks, how to arrest people by, you know, joint locks. So I called him and said, hey, I got a problem with my passport. I overstayed. Do you think you can fix it? And he goes, oh, yeah, come, come on down to the police station. I made 15 minutes. Pop, 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 bunch of stamps. Bang, 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 bang. He says, okay, all you have to do is leave Taiwan, go to Hong Kong, go to the embassy over there, the Taiwanese embassy over there, and you're going to get a new visa. Okay, so all I got to do is... Leave Taiwan, go to Hong Kong, go to the embassy, and get a new visa. So I leave Taiwan, go go to the embassy in Hong Kong, give me a brand new visa. I go back to Taiwan, and now I've got a clean visa, and I got to go through immigration. I hand the lady my passport. Now everything's fixed, mm -hmm. and it's through the Taiwan government. It's fixed. 
and she's fucking around on the computer. And it's taking too damn long because I know how. I've been in and out of airports for the last six years on the run. I know how long it takes to plug someone in the computer. And she's plugging away, plugging away, plugging away, plugging away. And I finally had to say something because otherwise I felt that if I didn't say something, I'd look suspicious. I said, hey, what, what's taking so long? She goes, you're good. She grabs a red pen and does a something. She goes, you're good. Welcome to Taiwan. Welcome back. I saw that red pen. I'm thinking, hmm, what the fuck was that about? So I go back and I tell my girlfriend, something's not, something took too long to get in. Mm. And I saw that red pen. She goes, ah, oh, you're just paranoid. I said, Maybe I was paranoid. She goes, but listen, the beer bottle, we got a, uh, they're going to do a grand opening uh, for the beer bottle. And they're going to promote, a big promotion. And they're going to pay you another five grand just to show up to the party. There's a party at the club. Huh, good for me. So we go there, it's her model friends and the beer promotion and this whole thing's going on with the banners and all this stuff. And we're getting the VIP treatment and everyone's drinking my beer with my face on it. Okay, so I'm thinking, here I am in Taiwan on the run with my beer, with my face on the beer bottle. So as I'm drinking this grape juice, I, I'm looking at the, the writing on it, right? So it's written in Chinese. And then I start to read the English on it. And that bit says, printed and bottled in West Palm Beach, Florida. Mm. My heart sank. I said, are you fucking kidding me? What are the chances of the beer in my face being printed in the city that I just ran from the FBI? I was like devastated. I turned to my girlfriend and said, we got to get the fuck out of here. She goes, what? I go, read the beer bottle. And she reads and she goes, oh my God. I said, pack it up. Went back to the house, excused ourselves, walked back to the house, said, we got to go. It's, my face is on a beer bottle in Taiwan, mm. and it's printed in Florida? It don't take Are a you kidding bit, yeah. me? Uh-uh. So it ain't happening. And the damn picture looked like a mug shot. It really did. It did, it did a, like a half, looked like a criminal shot. Mm. I said, uh-uh, we got to go. So I said, we're going to get a ticket. I'm going to get my ticket first. You're going to stay behind because I have a bad feeling when I leave. I did not like that lady with that red circle. I didn't like that. So I said, I'm going to buy a ticket that says Japan. We're going to Japan because we heard Japan was big money. From one of our other, one of our other model friends said, big money in Japan. Modeling over there, huge, triple. Mm. So I so, said, so, kept that in the back of my mind. I said, all right, I'm going to get a ticket that says... Taiwan, Japan, California. Just in case I get stopped. Because I, I haven't been, if you looked at my passport, I haven't been back to the U.S. in five years. Any smart immigration officer would have said, wait a minute. You've been, where's your, how come you haven't left or gone back to your home country, mm -hmm. right? Any mm -hmm. smart immigration. So I got a ticket that showed I was going back after Japan. So it said, Taiwan, Japan for 10 days, back to America. So that was my excuse, just in case they caught me. So what happens? My girlfriend, I said, all right, you're going to stay behind. If I make it to, to Tokyo, then you come. So we're in the airport. I give her a little hug and kiss. I said, you get, get away from me. You hide over there near the dam. Way far away. Let me go through immigration. So I hand the guy my passport at immigration. Takes it, puts it under the thing, and this fucker starts waving it up in the air. And I'm like, two cops, boom, by the arms, okay? I look over my shoulder, and there, my girlfriend saw the whole thing. She's mm. like, oh, she's like, this. so I'm finished, all right? They got me, done. They bring me into the room. They got three, three or four cops. They got a fucking dog barking. Guy's got my passport underneath the blue light. He's taking it, trying to peel the fucking... It was, they were laminated back then. You remember that, the plastic mm -hmm. thing? And you had, your picture was underneath, and then, and then the, the lamination was on oh, top. Yeah, the old top. school, yeah, yeah. The old school ones, right? So he's over there picking, and, 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 I, and he, I say, hey, what are you doing? You're going to ruin my fucking passport, man. He goes, how come you haven't been... Saying exactly what I thought. How come you haven't been back to your country? Where are you from? Blah, 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 blah. He's going on and on and on and on. I said, whoa, whoa. 
He goes, no, you, you, something wrong. You tell us right now why you didn't go back to America. Mm. Uh, and no, he didn't even say America. Where are you from? Where are you from? I said, where the fuck do you think I'm from? I said, look what my ticket says. And, he, and, and then he goes, well, why haven't you gone back? I said, I'll tell you exactly why I haven't gone back. Well, I came to Taiwan and I had a certain amount of money. And then I met this girl and then I overstayed my, you know, I had a girlfriend. She took all my money. I overstayed my visa. And then I had to get a friend of mine to fix it. And he goes, impossible. I go, what do you mean impossible? He goes, you're overstay. You overstayed your visa. Cannot fix your overstay and come back into the country. Impossible. I says, I'm telling you what happened. What do you mean? It's impossible. It's impossible. I'm telling you. I'm here, ain't I? You see I exited and I entered. You see the stamps. How is it impossible? So they were digging and they, they go, we, you tell us the truth. Or, you know, we're gonna, we'll, we'll, we'll find out the truth and it'll basically take a long ass time and you'll be sitting in jail. So I said, listen, why don't you just send me back to America? Hey, I got it. It says Japan, America. Get on the phone with the embassy right fucking now. I'm calling this bluff. Get on the phone with the embassy right now. I want to speak to the consulate. Send me back to the States. Now, the other guy's going through my bag. I had one of those fanny packs. Thing, mm -hmm. right? He's going through my bag. And he gets a business card. And he says something to the guy in Chinese. And now they're yapping back and forth in Chinese. Something's completely stopped. And I don't even know what the hell the business card is. I can't even <clears throat> didn't remember what it was. Didn't remember what was there. <clears throat> so he looks at me and he goes, who's this? And I said, what is it? He goes, who's Shen Mao Wei? I said, it's my Kung Fu teacher. He said, that's my Kung Fu teacher. This was a police academy chief oh, instructor. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. So he goes, this is your instructor. This is this. Everyone in there, they're all like, he's our instructor too. Every, I said, yeah. Saved your ass. Yeah, everybody's in the same shit. So now the whole thing, the whole tempo changes, changes, yeah. changes. So now we're like, oh, I said, he's the one that fixed my visa. He took me to the police station to fix my visa. And they were like, no, now it made sense. So they go, do you mind if we call him? I said, no, go ahead. Please call him. Hey. So uh, he makes the phone call. Da, 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 da. Oh, he's good. Pfft. They bow, unpack my shit. Oh, oh, oh. I said, oh, I, they, shit. they said, my plane's leaving short. I'm going to miss my plane. They call. They get the plane to stop. Oh, they put me in a golf cart, race me down the damn thing, and put me on the damn plane and, and apologize. That business card saved and your I'm, ass. I'm, I'm, now I'm on the airplane going, oh, my. Now, they did take a photocopy of it before I left. They photocopied it. Now I'm on the airplane going to Japan. Now this is the last of the of, of the stories that fucking this is where we stop. So I got four hours in the air going to Tokyo, thinking, all right. They photocopied my passport and they had me under arrest. Now they got four hours to just run it, or or the picture, or who knows what type of Interpol, anything. They've got my picture. So the plane lands in Japan. I had a few wines in me because I was like, this is it. There's, I, I thought for sure I was going to get done when I hit Japan. So everyone gets off the plane and I'm not getting off that plane. I'm going to be the last one. And I'm waiting. Like I remember back when I was uh, a kid when they came on the plane to get mm -hmm. me. Right? I'm waiting. And everyone's off the plane and I'm just watching. <laughs> and the lady goes, sir, sir, you, you got to get off the plane. I said, oh, oh, yeah, I just wasn't feeling very well. So, you know. Uh, I got up and I'm like, okay, got my bag. There's no one, I'm the last one, I'm like tiptoeing. I'm like, all right, they're gonna, they're gonna go around the corner and they're gonna fucking ambush me, right? Ba boom! Nobody's there. I can't believe it. I'm like, I'm, I'm fuck, the place is empty. Like, oh, good, good, good. It's gone. Everyone's gone. I'm, do, 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 do. I turn the corner, two cops with a sign with my name on it, but it's got Antonio Zambrena. So they look at me and they go, Zambrana son. Well, I gotta be me. I was the last one off the plane, right? I go, yeah. They go, come with us. They didn't grab me. They said, come with us. So I'm walking. I'm like, oh shit, this isn't good. 
take me past everybody and they uh, up to a countertop and the lady goes passport and the passport starts getting in the computer and this shit starts printing out in the back I'm like now I'm trying to imagine going through all this shit trying to stay cool you know these well these motherfuckers watch your pulse mm -hmm. they watch everything when mm -hmm. you're nervous right and I'm just sitting there trying to stay cool and my heart's going boom boom I'm like shaking from my heartbeat boom boom and that thing's going, I'm waiting for, like, most wanted. I'm waiting for my picture. I'm waiting for a warrant. I'm waiting for something to come up on that computer. And it prints out, da, 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 zip, And she rips it off and hands it to me. I read this shit. It says, call me when you get to the hotel room. I'm worried about you. From a girlfriend. The one that saw me get. Oh, shit. Call me when you get to your hotel room because I'm worried about you. Bitch about nearly killed me, right? So she sends a damn message to the airline just to make sure I, I arrive okay. I don't know what the hell she was thinking. So I get it and I go, ah, oh, okay. And I look at the cops and I'm like, sorry about that. <laughs> I get my passport. And now I'm looking at the, I'm still not through immigration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got all these people in front of me now because I was the last one. And I asked the cop, I said, hey. I got a meeting. I'm late. I got immigration. Can you get me to the front of that line? He said, me I bowed. To, to the front, excuse, boom, passport. Stood right next to me, boom, right on in. Bowed, shook his hand. I said, I will never, ever, ever in my life go through an airport again unless I'm in handcuffs. And that is God's honest truth. That's how it ended. Oh, shit. And then we got all of Japan. And I gave you the short version of this one. Is it getting late? <laughs>